What are you doing? I'm being adorable. What happened to being bad? Last time you were in the hallway trying to be bad. I decided it was easier for me to be adorable. <laughs> oh, um, glad that's working out for you. Where are you going, dearest little sister? I was going to go back to my room to do some studying. Well, don't let my adorableness stop you. <laughs> uh, it might not stop me, but it might make me sick to my stomach. Paco, why are you doing that? Paco, stop it right now. I'm not going to get any studying done today. And why do you say that, little one? Well, I say that because there's a cat dancing in the room. What kind of cat? Wildcat, tiger, panther, or perhaps a tame house cat? I don't know, maybe. It's our cat. Oh, you mean little Poncho. Jillian, his name is Paco. You know that. That's what I said. <laughs> uh, anyway, he's dancing in the room. What am I supposed to do? Well, what makes you think you have to do anything? What's so bad about a dancing cat? I do have to admit, it's a little cute, but I have to get my studying done, and it's a little disturbing and weird. No, what would be disturbing and weird is if we had a cat that would never dance. Now think about that, Addie. Oh, so in Jillian world, it's perfectly normal to have a cat that just dances for no reason. I didn't say he had no reason. He may have perfectly good reason for dancing. Perfectly good reason for a cat to dance? Like what? He may be celebrating. Perhaps he caught a particularly fat mouse today. Yeah, but what if he's on a low-fat mouse diet? Well, he could be celebrating for lots of other reasons. Like maybe the cat team won the Olympics. There's a cat team in the Olympics. Yeah, I think they do curling or something. He's not dancing because the cat team won curling at the Olympics, Jillian. He's dancing, but I don't know what to do. Well, I still don't see why you can't study. Have you even tried? I guess not. thing where you think you're being adorable? Yes. It's really creeping me out. You know, a little girl just standing alone in the hallway? It's like something out of a scary movie. Maybe that's what I'm going for. Okay, so let's get back on topic. Cat dancing, I can't do my homework, yada yada yada. Well, have you tried reasoning with him? I believe I said, Paco, stop that. Paco, what are you doing? Something along those lines. Historically speaking, Paco hasn't really been an obedient cat, has he? So what should I do? Like, grab him or throw him in a basket or something? I'll see if he'll listen to me, because after all, I am adorable. Knock yourself out. Paco? Now stop dancing. Paco, adorable girl here, asking you nicely to stop dancing. Listen, you little yellow cat. You better stop dancing right now. I tried. So that went pretty well, huh? 
I think I detect a little bit of sarcasm. It did not go pretty well. In fact, I think it went the opposite of pretty well. And it could be worse. What do you mean? Well, the floor could have opened up and you could have both fall down into the basement. Well, what do you propose we do now, little sister? It's time for our secret weapon, Daddy. Why is Daddy our secret weapon? I mean, I thought you were going to say something like tuna or a dog or like a cat's natural weakness or something. That's why Daddy makes the best secret weapon. Paco will never suspect him. Addy logic. Uh, Daddy? Oh, hi girls. Should we even ask why you're sitting there in a box? What box? How did this get here? We hate to bug you while you're doing your important work, but we have a problem. Paco is dancing in my room and I can't concentrate on studying. And if I get at all F's on my report card, it's going to be that cat's fault. Maybe Addie was already going to get all F's on her report card and this is her way of pitting it all on Paco. Oh yeah, because that makes perfect sense. Blame it on the cat for dancing. Everyone will believe that. Okay. So what should we do, pups? Yeah, what should we do about a dancing cat? He dances around and he is a little brat. It might be cute if he wore a little hat. And did a little spin and a kick like that. Did you guys like choreograph this whole question? Anyway, um, I'll see if I can reason with him. He knows me a lot longer than he's known you guys, so maybe I can get somewhere. Yeah, go get that cat, Daddy. Yeah, tell him that he can't just go around dancing whenever he pleases. I shall do my best. Paco, Paco. This is specifically a non-dancing zone for cats. I don't know how many times I have to tell you this. Don't you remember the rule? When Addy has homework, no dance around like a jerk. Hmm. Maybe I should just lunge for him. There, I gotcha. No more dancing for you. Come on. Oh, there's my guy. Daddy got Baco. Oh, I think he wants to dance again. Here you go, buddy. Have a seat. Here, Addy, why don't you sit here? Are you all tired out from dancing? Perhaps he's paralyzed with rage. Well, my work here is done. I wonder what made Paco dance like that. Well, it's like that time Miska started dancing. We don't know. Animals are strange creatures. But Miska dances all the time whenever we come home. This is something new for Paco. Maybe he wanted to be like Miska. A cat wanting to be like a dog? I don't think so. It's just the mysteries of nature. I'm going to go back to being adorable in the hallway. <laughs> Paco, now that she's gone, you can tell me why you were dancing. I wish you could talk, Paco. That would be so cool. Hmm, I wonder. Why does Addie have the magic wand? What is she considering doing with it? Will she make Paco talk? Will Paco begin to speak magically? Or will he continue dancing? Will Addie realize the consequences of using the wand, even though every time she's used it, something bad has happened? Will Jillian continue being adorable, or is it just creepy that she's standing alone in a hallway smelling at nobody? Answers to all these questions will be learned on Sunday on our other channel, Baby Teeth 4. Not this channel, Baby Teeth More, but Baby Teeth 4. That's right, this is a two-part episode. We have two channels because one channel cannot possibly contain all the entertainment value you are getting here. 
So be sure to join us on Sunday on Baby Tooth 4. And if this is Sunday, you can watch the video right now. Click it. Be sure to click on that little like button and subscribe to both channels.